Well, my beautiful friends, it just happens to be Friday morning, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I'll be happier later when this freaky day is over. Let's talk about this freaky day here. Uh, as I am doing this video blog, stocks are down yet again across the board. Nothing major. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is down about 150 points. It was down a lot worse earlier today. Um, and, and why is that? We got people, you can't make it up, but I'm going to tell you another round of bad economic news. This one, this one is so bad that Larry Kudlow himself wants you to ignore it. And I'm not making it up, I swear to you. Um, the jobs number mix, missed the mark like you have no idea. We added 20,000 jobs, which is essentially nothing. Um, so they paraded out Larry Kudlow on CNBC to talk about it. And um, I took a snapshot of, of this and I posted it all over the place. So Larry Kudlow says, ignore this number. But I can promise you, if this were a good number, he would be screaming about how great it is from rooftops. What I really want to know is why we can't be told the truth. I mean, anyone that cannot see what's going on right now has got to be 100% blind. 100% blind. We haven't had not one round of good economic news in months. Not one. The only thing that has been good is the elevated stock market that's being propped up on the back of Federal Reserve money printing, suppressed interest rates, debts and deficits exploding. That's it. And that is in itself an abysmal piece of economic news. Look, you know how this is uh, going to end. And I'm not saying it's going to end right now, but uh, this is just... It's, it, we're living in the joke. It's not even a nightmare anymore. It's become a comedy show. Seriously, it's a sitcom... Um, I don't know. I'm taking advantage of it. That's all I know. I am still short this market. I woke up this morning richer than I was yesterday. I'm richer right now than I probably was five minutes ago, gauging from what this market is doing. I have no idea where it's going to go by the end of the day. I think a lot of effort is going to go to propping it up. But we got problems here. Again, and I, I talked about market valuations yesterday. They're not normal. We've only been here a few times in history, and every single time it has ended badly. But again, it's the environment of lies. We cannot be told the truth. They won't let anyone know what the truth is because people would run for the hills. It's the truth. It's that is the truth, and it's always the same scenario. Um, the people are kept in the dark until all of the pawns are put in place. That mean what I mean by that is the large banks, the investment banks, everyone's on the right side of the trade getting ready to short the market, getting ready to take advantage of a, a turn, and then the people, the masses themselves, are always the last ones to know. Um, and it always ends badly for them, it's the truth. But they're gonna sit, sit here, most people in the euphoric state, and ignore yet again another bad round of economic news and they just think everything is great because Larry Kudlow wants you to ignore the number. And I swear to you, I am not making this up. All right, with that said, I'll see you at the end of the day.